And when I press this button... Oh, this works like a charm! A lot of you! <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, that was exactly what I wanted it to be. Welcome back to People Playground. Now, Bob over here has been through lots of experiments, lots of different ways of dying, but today is gonna be a little bit different. You see, this over here, this tiny little thing, that's a rat, okay? This rat over here should be able to uh, induce some damage. I don't know, you know, we're, we're about to find out. Also, this pistol over here, completely ignore it, but I sometimes have to use this pistol to shut people up because they sometimes, for no reason, start to scream. Hmm. It's actually silent. Don't do it. Don't do it. Be quiet. Be quiet. I just had to do it. Now, the reason I have a rat in today's video is because I want to see if I can use it to induce some pain. Now, Bob over here has been strapped with an iron bucket to his stomach, and I'm gonna heat this bucket up and hope that um the rat will have to try and search for the closest way out, which is through Bob's stomach. So, without further ado, let's just start heating this thing up and let's see what happens. Come on. Doo -doo -doo. Oh! Oh god, okay. Oh no 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 Um 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 Sorry Bob just just sorry yeah, that's for the better Okay that did not go according to plan at all Let me let me tell you that much And also guys later on in the video I'm gonna go through some absolute horrifying machines So stay tuned for that you don't wanna miss it Also subscribe now, humans is not the only thing that we have today, or animals. Well, we do have animals as well, but we've got some bigger animals. And these are uh, monkeys. I don't know how these monkeys work, so uh, let's just see if they even make a sound. Let's shoot them by the foot. Oh, look at that. They sound identical to, to humans. Who'd, who'd have thunk it? Here, have a banana, okay? Have a banana. Eat it. Oh, he's burning up. Why is he burning up? What? How is he burning up? I didn't do it! I don't know what I've done, and right now I'm kind of... kind of scared. Thank you. So yes, as I was saying, we've got monkeys. Uh, these should be pretty identical to humans, uh, as we could see in the previous test when they started screaming and everything went horribly wrong because for some reason the monkey started burning. I guess he's made out of fur to some degree, so that's why. But we've also got a thing called a banana cannon. I really want to know if this thing is deadly or not. <laughs> I just shoot a banana. It's kind of... <laughs> That's kind of cute. Didn't really do nothing though. Just, do these bananas explode? Do they do anything? Hello? Could you eat the banana? Eat it. Eat the banana! Maybe they need some incentive. Eat the banana or the rat gets it! I swear to God, I'll shoot the rat and I won't even flinch. Come on. Eat the banana. Okay, I'll put it on your head. Eat it! No? Okay. This is your fault. Now, if there's anything monkeys like, it's shiny objects. And this over here is an iron bar. Just to make sure. Yup, it's an arm. Ah, sweet silence. Just the way I like it. Now, iron bars is not the only thing I've got. I've also got red big rubies. Ah. Okay, I thought I thought the rubies was gonna hurt a lot more. So the iron bar is a lot heavier than that. Huh? Oh, sure is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh boy, maybe the banana will heal him up. Come on, eat the banana. I know you wanna. Now monkeys should also be really useful when it comes to work. So over here, we've got a pickaxe, we've got some ore and a, and a test subject. Shut the hell up or I'll shoot your face off. Okay, grab the pickaxe, there you go. And go to work, go to town. Just start. Shut the hell up. I know I have a dead monkey strapped to my pickaxe, but it doesn't really matter. And this doesn't work. Oh, I think I just broke some bones. Cool. Welcome to a wood chipper. This thing should be able to chop up wood real good. And if it can do that, it should be able to chop up some humans or animals. 
What do I care? Anything with flesh and bones, okay? That's what I'll stick in this thing. And over there to the right, I can see a button. And um, the only way to push a button is to use the handy dandy hand. You guys know the drill. Okay, let's see what happens when we push the button. Oh yeah. Oh, that is the sound of success. Oh, here we go. First test object. Yeah, stop screaming. Okay, right. And just in you go. All right. Don't oh, stop struggling. It's only gonna hurt more. <laughs> here you go. And then we press the button like this. There you go. Oh. I don't know what's happening, but something's happening. Oh, I can see body parts flying out. Look at that! That's amazing! Next! In you go! You as well! There you go! All the humans! Ah. <laughs> In you go! Oh, this wood chipper is amazing! Oh, it does wonders! Oh, that's a chainsaw. Okay. Now, we know it can chop up humans real good, but the question is, can it actually do what it's supposed to do? and chop up some wood. So here we go. Come on. Ah, would you look at that? It does not actually work. And this is really extremely loud. Holy crap. Right, so the wood chipper is really awful at chopping up wood, okay? It can't do it. But I'm wondering, can I use the wood as some sort of a scoop for a lot of people to be pushed in at the same time by me in a car, okay? I, I'm not actually in the car. I found somebody that had made a wacky cast model. Look at this, look at this. It, he's right over there, wacky cast. I can't use it though because I don't have the mod, but you know, it's cool and stuff. So if you guys, you know, wanna make stuff for me, you know, be sure to uh, let me know in the comments. But anyway, without further ado, boop, there you go. And then, you know what? We need something to collect all the bits of bobs in. So I've made this little, this little thing here. So without further ado, let's just make this car drive a little bit. So um, disengage parking brakes. There you go. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, there we go. Car. Um, it's not really working as well as I wanted it to work, but maybe we can help it a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Yes. Get pushed in. Stupid useless car. We need some more heavy machinery. That's for sure. There you go. Use a tank. Oh, it's driving over them. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh no, this is not good. Oh boy. Please, please don't go in there. You will die. Or you will just bounce off. So I realized if we want to make these guys fall in the wood chipper, chipper? Wood chipper. The wood chipper. We need something to push them. So I've added this thing at the front of the tank and this should make ease of this. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, this works like a charm. Oh, it works so well. A lot of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it's not really feeding into it, though. Damn it. Now, here we have it. The lovely screaming of humans. And they don't know what's about to happen because none of these guys know what they're up against. So why don't we start in the bottom left corner where there's already a bunch of screaming happening. So, right, what am I supposed to do here? Hit the button. You? Is this guy supposed to hit the button? Okay, hit the button. Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh that was amazing. That was amazing. Okay, I really like that you pushed a one-ton weight straight into people. Oh, that was fantastic. I wish, oh, I think some of these are still alive. You know, just, just gotta, just gotta finish the job real quick. You know, the torture machine wasn't as good as it could have been. So, you know, sometimes you gotta take measures or like drastic measures and do it with your own hands. And speaking of drastic measures and doing it with your own hands, there you go. Nobody survives. And I mean, nobody. And here we have the next guy that is completely screaming and being absolutely scared. I don't know what these syringes down here are, but they surely are not anything good. So let's just do this. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. But he's not really being impaled with them. So I don't know what's hap- Oh, he's, yeah, he, he's, he did something. Let's just leave him like this for a bit and see when we come back later on if he's still alive or not. There's so much screaming. Okay, we need to hit this thing because something's gonna happen then. You know what? I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll just press it. There you go. Oh, electric chair. 
Turn that off. That is fantastic. Oh, you know what? You're not only gonna watch, you're gonna get excluded yourself. I can't speak English today, guys. Now, these five people over here look like they are having a fantastic and wonderful time and nothing could possibly go wrong except a car loaded with heat swords or whatever. Just go. Yeah! Oh, that was exactly what I wanted it to be. Fantastic. Oh, it's starting to burn. And the only thing remaining is a pile of burning flesh. Ah, uh, this guy. This is one of the guys that are constantly screaming. Well, I kind of get it why he's screaming, because there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight guns aiming at him. And when I press this button... <laughs> It's breaking the house. So that's pretty cool. And here we have it, the classic standoff. Two guys, two guns, and um, I don't even know what's gonna happen, so we're just gonna do this. There you go, oh. Oh, and the wheel is gonna just, oh, okay. So it didn't really matter if they hit each other or not because the wheel was gonna do it anyway. Got it, got it. Okay, this guy is slightly annoying, and I mean slightly annoying, so why don't we press this button and he's either gonna a stretch or b get squished into a cube and electrocuted at the same time so um i was right god i love it when i'm right so what about this guy then yep he's dead wait are you screaming are you the one constantly making sounds there's only one way to find out and we gotta find out not him. It's not him. He's dead. Oh, I know who it is. It's this guy. And I'm assuming this one will get flown into space and exploded into a million pieces. But since this might be an actual explosion, I, I will go to these guys first. And I'm assuming this, uh, this robot over here is going to shoot my guys into pieces. Love it. There you go. Perfect. You can stop screaming now because you're going off into space. Holy hell, what the crap? And there he goes. Wow. Amazing. Now, this was one of the better ones I've seen. You know, you can tell by the destruction that this was a successful experiment. Now, the only way we can make this into a successful video is if we stick the C4 onto Bob's chest. Oh, there we go. And then, um... We watch him disappear like a magician. Oh, a leg. Break a leg, Bob. 